Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am trying, <laughs> it went away, I have to re-enter. Okay, I wanted to share something with you that I got sent in my text messages from my friend out in, um, she lives near Phoenix, Arizona. All right, she said, drones, now, this is just more scare tactic. You know, they want to keep us all in order. They want us all, all of us little sheeple, useless eaters to obey, you know. And maybe some people are not obeying the stay at home, stay six feet apart orders. Okay, so now here's what they're saying. Drones being used in some states to keep track of the citizens so they can arrest them for leaving their homes without permission. FBI asking for the power to arrest people with indictment. Now, there's a link here. Uh, it's... What happened? Oh, <laughs> she said, yes, we will meet someday soon. Yeah, someday, one day, soon. Okay. All right. Let me go back up. All right. The link is very long. I'm going to tap on it. I don't know exactly how to get it on my computer, but I'll figure it out somehow. Maybe I can email this to myself. Anyway... It's by RenewedRight.com. That's capital R, E-N-E-W-E-D, capital R, no space, just a capital R, I-G-H-T. So only the R's are capital, and it's dot com, okay? Renewed Right. All right. One state government is threatening to use drones and night vision for this terrifying reason. Not everyone is comfortable with the government's response to the coronavirus. They're not comfortable with the government's response. I guess they think they're being too, uh, too much power making a stay at home. And the threat to privacy and constitutional rights are higher than ever before. Now, one state government is... Th I wonder if they mean New World Order. One state government is threatening to use drones or one of the 50 states. That's probably what they mean. Is threatening to use drones and... Uh, night vision cameras for this terrifying reason. The Chinese coronavirus is spreading like a plague. And governments around the world are struggling to handle the disease. All right, well, we know this is a live exercise. So, they, you got to wonder... Is this more right-wing, mainstream media-type propaganda? But I'm sharing this with you because this is what they're saying they want to do. The government wants to do. Here in the United States, President Trump is doing his best to fight the spread of the illness while protecting our constitutional rights. But some in the government aren't satisfied with the actions he's taken so far. Hmm. The FBI supposedly has asked for sweeping new powers to arrest and detain people for the duration of the outbreak without indictment or bail. The Department of Justice is supposedly, and I've heard this from another source already, working with Apple, Google, IBM, Microsoft, and other tech industry giants to be able to monitor and track every American 
during what many fear may soon become a national quarantine. Well, so many states are already in a quarantine, aren't we? Or maybe it's not technically a quarantine yet, as we're asked to stay in our homes and stay six feet apart, right? And wash your hands. Don't forget that. Okay, and some states and local governments aren't even waiting for federal orders. Mm. In Illinois, New Jersey, and Louisiana, and other states, some localities are unconstitutionally banning the sale of firearms and ammunition, putting American lives in jeopardy. I don't know about that. If you like to have a gun, you should already have one. New Jersey has made it a crime to leave, oh, listen to this, New Jersey has made it a crime to leave your home punishable by up to six months in prison and thousand dollar fine. I got to check that out. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, let's go to Google. And it's what state? Come on now, phone, don't die out. Why does it do that? I mean, it's like, and if I let it, don't tap it right away, it goes away. Maybe if I keep my thumb on it, it will. Let's see. Let's put, um, is there a new law in, let's put in, J in New Jersey about I got a peck leaving your home. All right, let's try that. New Jersey law does not pro provide much guidance. According to the Bergen County Department of Human Services, the state of New Jersey does not, oh gosh, that's from 2017. Okay, so no, this is a no help. Is there a new law in New Jersey? May have to find it on, um, I don't know how else to word it. I'm going to add because of COVID-19. Let's try that. Yes, that's what I meant. If I don't put the space before the 19, ask me, do you mean? Okay, New Jersey, DOL, and the coronavirus. Okay, it says, New Jersey, um, what employees and businesses should know. The COVID-19 virus is impacting all of our daily routines with many employers feeling especially vulnerable. I'm just skimming through this. I'm not going to read it all. Pay your workers whether they or not they are able to work. They don't want them to work if they're sick. Okay, it's not on here. So, this could be um, brand spanking new and this site is not updated with it. Or it may not be true. But I'll do some more research on that. And now some states and localities are working to find ways to track citizens down during lockdowns. And it might come as no surprise that things are the worst in California. Well, I thought they were the worst in New York. And now you're talking about New Jersey and Illinois. So which is it? 
It says the Chula Vista Police Department in the Golden State, which is California, don't you go away, is all set to use drones equipped with night vision cameras and loudspeakers to track citizens during the coronavirus shutdown and make sure they are following the state's orders to self-isolate. The de police department of the city located near San Diego has now doubled its fleet of drones, buying two machines from, of all people, the Chinese company DJ I or L. It's a straight line, and it's all caps, so that would be an I, DJI, International maybe, DJ, I don't know. That's right. The Chula Vista Police Department will be tracking its citizens using Chinese hardware, which, of course, most likely, it's probably here in America, but they make it and send it here. I don't know. They're not clear on that. Everything here is Chinese, Chinese hardware, which of course most likely means whatever data is gathered will also be in the communist hands of the Chinese. Oh my, if some students out of school are gathered on the front porch and it looks like more than 10 of them and they're not six feet apart, are they going to get arrested and thrown in jail for six months? I mean, seriously. A department spokesman recently talked with the Financial Times and stated the drones would also be equipped with night vision cameras. Boy, some young couple better not be caught out in the woods making out. They'll be too close together. The outbreak has changed my view of expanding the program as rapidly as I can. Captain Vern Sally said, S-A-L-L-E-E, -L -L -E -E, if you want to look that up. No, don't go away. He is seemingly ignoring the warnings of even U.S. government officials who have warned localities and police departments about the threat Chinese-made drones could pose to the United States, the company that the police department is purchasing from DJI, is the world's largest manufacturer of civilian drones, which are also used by local police departments. Yeah, I know people can buy drones. They're not real big. Okay, go away. Even more troubling is the danger of more widespread drone use by police departments, not just in California, but around the country. Spencer Gore, CEO of the U.S.-based drone company, quote, Impossible Aerospace, unquote. That's, that's a U.S.-based drone company, Impossible Aerospace, said he is, quote, working like crazy, unquote, to help equip the other law enforcement agencies with drones. Gore went on to say the drones will fly around and see if people were gathering at places they weren't supposed to be and could even use loudspeakers to tell them to disperse and go home. Oh, Lord, we're living in a futuristic society. Aurelian. Oh, that's the word. Look, the drone company... CEO admitted that while the whole drone surveillance program sounds Orwellian, it could also save lives. Well, since when do they care? That is, they want the useless eaters to just die. What? This is such a sham. Do you all believe this? That they're doing all this just to help us? Does anybody really believe that? I don't. Not for a second. Because I know what the Georgia Guidestone says and what Agenda 21 is, and now they call it Agenda 30. They want the useless eaters 
people who cannot contribute to society or anybody that's at all impaired, they want us dead. So why are they doing all this? It is an exercise. Don't don't worry about it. This is the measures they're going through, though, for their exercise. That, that's what I'm saying. That is my honest opinion. You can have your own. Does anybody yet know anybody with this disease? One lady here said, Oh, yes, my son and granddaughter are ate up with it. And they're, and they're in southern Georgia. She said, It's all over that place. Okay, it's probably the flu. H1N1 and they're calling it this that's my opinion too while saving lives is a good thing the question is at what cost exactly how much is all this costing the government and now they've okayed a, a two trillion dollar thing you know a bunch of that money is going to go right back to Bill Gates these measures and others like them threaten the very fabric of our republic and should be guarded against. Renewed right will keep you up to date on any developments to this ongoing story. And then they've got some related stories. All about Joe Biden. Oh, well, I'm not getting into that. He can have his opinion. He's not in the power yet. Okay, and then... A lot of advertisements. Where's our, our whole, I guess you have to go back. Okay, well anyway, um, she added, she had told me here, listen to this. Of course, a lot of you know this already. Her uncle was in the CIA. Okay, he's, he's no longer living. He's the one that gave her the information on Operation Paperclip and the two scientists that manufactured the immune uh, it's called mycoplasma fermentans you can look that up if you want but everybody's been exposed it's supposed to decrease your immune system that's why everybody needs to do everything they can to boost their immune system back up alright she told me that back in the 50's all right, here. My uncle, who recently passed, was in the CIA, and he shared some scary stuff at what he, the government is doing. They had this technology since the 50s, spying technology. So why do they need drones? Look, she said, CIA are dangerous people. They are actually legalized killers, and the wars are all a part of the plan to control the people more and more on a gradual basis. I told her that does not really surprise me. I know they have had computers for a lot longer than they were put on the market and people thought, wow, this is great new technology. Yeah, right. Yeah, the, the military had them first. Okay, but anyway, I asked her, are you saying that when your uncle was in the CIA, they had the ability to spy on citizens with drones? She said they weren't drones, but they did have the ability and actually did spy. He said he was able to see someone on the other side of the planet standing on a bridge, smoking, and know the brand written on the side of the cigarette. Oh, brother. She said, every country my uncle went to for a conference, we went to war with after he got on the jet to return home. My mother said she could tell what was going on at the time. 
that could never speak about it. Anyway, that's, that's all I'm going to share about that. Well, wait a minute. This is something she added while I was out with Buddy. China killed the scientist who had that international news announcement where he said that he was one of the scientists who was creating this virus for warfare and that apparently somebody walked out of the lab with it. I saw the interview and then it was never up again. They are saying it came from some animal, but that's not what the scientist said. It is not from bat soup. It's not from the pigs at the meat market over there in China. It is a developed, like I said in that report, started here in the United States, North Carolina. And when the NIH pulled their funding, the communist Chinese people working with it took it and went back to China with it to the Wuhan lab, which Bill Gates funded, by the way, if you missed that video. This is all set up to control us and this is supposedly a live exercise to see how well we all obey it, it, I tell you what y'all this is it's nothing to fear as long as you stay in your house Trump is going to put an end to it he wants it over by Easter now that to me tells me they're going to Somehow just, oh, the numbers are not going up anymore. We've had no new cases in the country for three days now. And, and the ones who've been released have been tested pot a negative. So we're calling an end to the quarantines and everybody can leave their houses now. Watch and see. I, that's the way I see it. If he's calling out. He's made a statement, I want this all over with, I want the economy back online by Easter. We'll see. What do you think? Put your comments in the comments section. Let me know what you think about it. All right. That's all I have to say about that. And I'll let you go. I'll talk to you later. Oh, oh, wait. I got to tell you something. I got an email. Someone was talking about... Uh, some of that what I already said about tracking you with your cell phone and they were saying we should take out all the apps on our cell phone because they're going to be tracking you wherever you go with your cell phone well here's the thing Here was my, here's what I was thinking if you're going to a party <laughs> or a little casual gathering and you all should take your cell phones and pile them up on top of each other in a bowl and just leave them there for the evening and then if somebody gets a phone call you, you know or maybe you could kind of stack them around the bowl like this just put them all right there where they'll they'll be like <sighs> see if you keep it in your pocket or in your purse and you keep your purse on yourself they want to see if your cell phone is too close to this person if that's true and it could be because they have GPS tracking devices which is why a lot of you are leery of having one I think even these more recent ones have them the flip phones I don't know but I assume they do I believe they might okay I don't know that for sure someone might could put that in the comments that knows do the flip phones also have the GPS tracking devices? I say probably so. But anyway, I'll end it here. And I will and remember, everything that comes out, you take with a grain of salt. I, I got to look that back up now and try to put that down in the description box in case you want to look into that site and sign up for newsletters yourself to get on your cell phone. It sounds like a Republican site and it could be no better than mainstream media. It sounds like it's probably telling more truth than they would put out on what you see on TV or even 
equivalent on YouTube. You know what I'm talking about. Fox News Channel, there's an ABC, there's an NBC, there's a CBS, probably there's an MSNBC, I don't know. But anyhow, alright, now I'm done. Talk to you later. Bye for now.